we, strange uh, place. We want to thank you guys for tuning in on TeamFortress.tv for this uh, Div 1 action. And we're getting ready here to start the second map, Metalworks. And I like this map. Which do you prefer, right? Do you like Metalworks more or do you like Badlands more for a 5 CP? Um, well, Badlands is the, you know, archetype of traditional Sixes maps. It's a fantastic map. And everyone loves playing Badlands. But I, I, I do actually like Metalworks. I, I think it's a good map. Um, pleased it actually made it back into the season, yeah. even if it was to the death of Cold Plant, which I also like. Um, so, it's pretty good. I like I like both maps. I, I, I couldn't tell you a favourite, because frankly, my favourite is Granary. Ah, alright. Maybe, uh, I'm wondering if maybe it's because you play Medic. Do you like Metalworks a little more? A little bit more protected and a little less wide open than Badlands. Maybe a little easier for the Medic play, would you say? Um, frankly, I'm a bad Medic, so... <laughs> I drop everywhere. Right. So, I mean, it could... N no map has a particular preference in terms of safety. Because I'm not safe because I forget that I have a right click sometimes. Yeah, that is an important part of the game, the right click. Uh, we already see snipers warming up, and I'm sure that we're going to see a lot of sniping. We only saw, I think, one big sniper pick um, on that last Badlands map, which was... I think just on... What was it? It was on a soldier or something like that. Yeah, but... Kenzie got, what, three picks onto Onkaya? Yeah, I, something I like that. I did actually call it wrong. I thought Onkai was the pocket, but he's he's not. He 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 is the Roman. He's Roman. Shifty okay. is the pocket. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, certainly we're probably going to see a lot of good sniper plays. Uh, this is a popular map for snipers, even more so probably than Badlands. I would almost say, especially on the last uh, offenses. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, um, this could be good. Obviously, we've got some fantastic snipers. I don't really th know anyone here to be a good sniper, but I mean, Kenzie did some fantastic stuff last map, so we'll see what he's going to be able to pull off this map. Yeah, Shifty and Herpy are both warming up their snipers, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I have, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've actually seen double sniper offenses on last in this map. Have you seen double snipers on Metalworks recently? Um, Not unless we're losing really badly in scrims. Yeah. It's not, um, you know, maybe not in Div 1 or Prem, but uh, some teams like to run it if they have particularly strong snipers. And like we say, we uh, we don't know what we're going to see. We might see one or two. Who knows? I think we're it's just waiting for say. Come Down to rejoin the server. And in, yeah, come on, getting a little bit annoyed with him. Um, saying they're late and stuff. So, come on, guys, you know, we want to cast some TF2. Get on the server. Yeah, it's come disappointing. on! Honestly. Some people, they're, they're so in in inconsiderate. Right. He would tagged up as his actual name now, not Dondi. Well, Dondi's... Uh, uh, he was actually called that on ETF 12, so if he's changed his name to Huey, he, he may actually be in violation of the nickname rule. Oh, well, we'll have to uh, report that. Get someone on the phone here from ETF 2L. You know, on the Skype call with us. Yeah, it is. It is, it is still that. So he could be technically reported, but I'm sure it won't actually matter, cause seeing as that no. is actually his name. But I have noticed that Sean John, who was one of the new soldiers that they picked up to replace Anakin Come Down, he's joined the server instead of Come Down. So mm. maybe a little bit of a substitution here. Come Down, I, he didn't look particularly comfortable. He was dying a lot first on mids. Um, and he didn't seem to be doing that particularly good. So, and I'm glad John doesn't have the chat because he right, uh, death's just too. given out the, uh, the Archon, Archon password, password for the server. Great, um, come on in. We're gonna come in and just get Archon. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably a good probably a good idea, John, not to press <laughs> that. But yeah, so they've they've swapped out a soldier. It's gonna be Sean John, who I again I don't really know as I don't really know the Russian scene too too well. But I mean, he he was considered a good replacement for. Uh, um, come down, so we'll see yeah. what he's going to be able to pull off in this match. We believe in him anyway. And, uh, you know, Team Yakima and Ryu, they want to pick out some map points here. Um, they're near the top of the tables right now. They're second as of the start of this match with nine map points. So I think they want to have a bit better of a result on this Metalworks map, certainly. Yeah, I mean, I mean what, they've beaten Did I Stutter, and they beat yep. Who else did they... No, no, they drew against uh, Superstars. Uh, another team captained by uh, uh, a TFTV caster in, in Commander X. So, um, <laughs> it's just a little, little bit of friendly banter between the teams. As apparently, this is the first time that Sean John has played this map 
Ever. Ah, ever. So, uh, but we're live here by the looks of it, and I'm watching Mr. Huey on his rollout, and we'll see how this plays out for Team Yekimon, who want to have a better outcome, and if they can, uh, if they can get a 5-0 this map, that would be the ideal thing. Rolling out lower here now, um, coming right out, maybe a little more aggressive than uh, Death on the other side. The 425 team may be just waiting for the push to come in, but they're already losing now Sean John on Kaya down for Yakamon. And down goes Annex. That's both soldiers down for 425, and we're going to give this mid to Yakamon. Yeah, well, 425 making a good decision there. I think Sean John, I'm uh, not quite sure where he came from, but he died pretty much, and Annex died on their exit. So, I mean, it's a good decision without those soldiers. You haven't got that spamming power, so... A good play by them to back up and just stick trap this door. This door is so hard to push through, but they just walk in, yeah. so perhaps I lied. The 425 gave it up, and so good luck for them. Exchange now going down, and it's going to be the demos. No picks yet off this Uber exchange. And of course, they can't cap the point while they're Ubered. Yeah, and well, 425 losing a couple of players here. Um, not really too good. They've lost a lot. They've just got the uh, Roamer and a demo up to defend the medic. And Dick has. He's, he's, he, he's with Death, but <laughs> Death does actually pick up her P there. I thought her P was going to come in and kill him, but no. 425 are down to two players, though. I mean, Sean John almost cratered and finally then went down. And coming into last now is Yakamon. And maybe they're listening to the cast and they know now that they want these map points. They, they're dying for them. And they're just going to come right in. And Ubers are pretty much equal, though. I'm surprised. Should we just quickly switch to uh, Team Comms and see what they're talking about? Let's listen in, hold on. Hey, I'm on the right, I'm on the right. You should build, They have a sniper. Right. Keep the calls to the minimum, this time. Yeah, they you have a sniper. The, do they have a heavy? Yeah, they have yeah. a heavy as well. Oh, spy, that's What spy. the fuck, spy? Ah, uh, Russians, they will always do that. Yeah, spy's okay, hold main. back, hold back with me, hold back with me. They may push this now. They're gonna push Otherwise, it. still watch for spy. Yeah, they're pushing. They're all pushing lobby. I'm up. We're gonna single it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Single it. 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 Yeah, it's Maybe a we're a bit of a bad luck charm. That's for, uh, for yeah, come on. Yeah, but uh, we see the recap now, and I don't know. Uh, kind of rough luck there. The 425 team was flashing their Uber around, but still managed to come out on top there. Yeah, I just, um, just I, I, I was too busy actually listening to the comms to concentrate on what was happening on my screen. So, um, I don't actually know what happened. Well, the 425 uh, Uber they flashed it between their demo and their soldier. Whereas the Uber on the other side for Yakamon was just on the one player only, but somehow they just kind of got pushed out of there. And you talked about the doors on this Metalworks map. It can sometimes get a little choky, and you can sometimes just kind of panic and want to get out of those areas because it can be a death trap. We have another Uber exchange here now, and mid might get capped here. Yeah, well, I mean, 425 have lost death on entry, but they've picked up three frags in exchange for it, so maybe one of those rare death deaths. I, I didn't plan that death, sentence death. well, right. but I'm sure. <laughs> but I know what I meant. Yeah. So I mean, he didn't die much last map, and you know, he, trading himself for three picks is a pretty good pick. Pr pretty good play, I think. It is good, especially uh, as it allows him to get two points out of it. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting though too. Another thing I want to mention is that we saw the spy pick. I don't know if you caught it, Ryu, right, watching, but um, a little bit of surprise there. Coming out of the Russians, they're not uh, not quite expecting a spy. So it'll be interesting to see. Are we going to see more off-classing like that as we go on? 425 now. They're just going to kind of run right out of here. A little bit I, th of a repush. I, th I think it was Anak who went on the spy, wasn't it? So and he did that last map as well. So maybe not doing it anymore. He, but he only did it once. So maybe not doing it anymore. But the 425, I'm going to come in with Uber to defend this middle point, and they are going to get it because Shifty and Huey both down. So pocket and demo down. That's a lot of huge damage down for. Yeah, come on, and they pick up a scout as well. Bar does make it out alive, but with only about a 25% advantage, and although they are building with the scout, this may not be the position they, they want to be in, because Red are already here, and they're already on point, and they pick up on Kai, who bombed in, so... Yeah. It would be dangerous for, uh, yeah, come on, to defending this fast. I think they're going to come right in, it looks like, even though they know they're at a disadvantage, but yeah, here they come, they're not going to wait around. 425, want this now, and Bob's in, picking out Shifty, on Kaya down as well. 
This is more of this last pushing by 425, who very convincingly take that without Uber at all. Yeah, a nice dry push there. Um, well, really well played. I think Bar was on about 95 at the end of that, so they, they timed it perfectly. Yeah, take it away on this mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just catch my breath, get well, calm down. Sure, calm down, calm it's down. been a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I'm going to be watching Death, because I think he's... Uh, He's, 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 he's playing really, really well, and both them is going to be going uh, choke. Death does get there a little bit faster, but he n guesses wrong and picks his sticky in the wrong place. And now he's going to be in a bit of trouble as the soldiers bombed in, trying to capitalize on the damage. And it does pick him up on Claire, doing some good work there. And 425, not looking as comfortable on these mids as they were on Badlands, because they've lost this second mid as well. And now going to have to back up with only their scouts alive and a medic. I'm wondering a little bit about this player, Sean John, as well, Ryu, because he went down again immediately, right away on that mid, and um, I don't know, I mean, to lose Sean John and then they lost the demo on the other soldier as well, I mean, that's not what you want to do on a mid push, and now we're looking at last. Yeah, well, it is his first time playing the map, apparently, so... Maybe that's a bit of an excuse for it, but now we're going to be watching some blue player go high. It's going to be shifty, but no, he gets completely shut down. And a, a pocket for a pocket with a scout pick on the side. Not really too much for 425 to want to push in, I think. Not enough of, of an advantage, sorry. Yeah. Especially as Bard's got a slight uber advantage. I uh, looked a little bit to see, I'm just curious about this Sean John player. It looks like he played in comp uh, around Div 2 maybe a few seasons ago and has taken maybe a bit of a break from comp, but um, certainly, you know, you want to have your players that you're familiar with and that play with you all the time. Uh, it's great to have backups, and I'm sure Sean John's a great player. He's probably a billion times better than me, but uh, <laughs> so far, maybe he has been dying a little bit too much. Well, he was their main at the beginning of the season, so I, I don't know where that puts him. Especially as uh, this is only their first official. But Death goes down there to a nice play by Onkaya. Onkaya That's going to yeah. be a, an aggressive push by... Four, uh, um, yeah, come on. They could push this. I mean, they've got a 15% advantage it. still. So they could definitely push. Sean John's yeah. going to be going down as well. So that's two down for 425. And really in a good position now. But Kenzie's in behind him. He's going to be looking for that demo pick. But no, he backs up right now. Huey, is, he's scared by the almighty majesty that is Huey. <laughs> Yeah, come on, it's going to be up against... It's very funny. Uh, they're they're going to be up against oh. an Uber here, though, Ryan. Oh, my, my I know you're cracking yourself up, but... Sorry. Of course, everyone like knows that Ryu and Huey are best friends uh, in real life. They it. go on play dates a lot. Yeah, uh, We're looking at last, and the Uber's popped in defense. Bar's going to back out, keep himself alive. Um, I don't know. I mean, certainly I think Yakima yeah, wanted to come right into last there, but they knew they were up against an Uber more than likely. So let's see how the repush goes. Uh, I... Uh, the, with with two down, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, sorry, three down for 425 now with the Sean John getting a headshot, and this this could be the first round on the board for yeah. Come on, I say that they're losing players. You know, wow, you, we've we've cursed them again. That's what it is. They've got Uber now, but they have three players up, and they're forced here in lobby, and that's not what you want. They pick out death. Lucky there. Yeah, th th this could be good though, because Hughes going in onto. Uh, oh wow, just gets Bart destroyed gets by Anak. That's unbelievable. I was almost wondering there if Barra would just try to sack himself for the point, but he did not. He's going to get out, which is probably the smarter move, if you consider, you know, you're a medic. Yeah, but, definitely. But um, here we go. We're going to have a recap, and it seems like 425, they go a lot more aggressive on these last attacks. Well, I don't, don't think it's, I don't think it's, uh, it, it's over quite yet, because yeah, come on, are still here. They're still fighting, and they do get that uber force out from Dicker. And, I mean, he's, he's not in a position to use it. At, uh, at all, and they can just completely repush here, especially as they pick up Anak as well, who gets a little bit caught there out on the point. And now with a lot of spam coming, it's just going to be a, re a, a second point is going to be recapped once again. And a good position for yeah, come on now. They've, They've got, got over advantage. Now, yeah. If they don't get popped early, if no, if no spy, but if Anak, this is what he's done before. He's sacrificed himself, gone spy. So they should be they should be expecting it right now. But he hasn't actually gone spy this time. Yeah, all we've got is a heavy. Well, we have a heavy and a sniper, as a matter <laughs> of fact. And Onkaya dropping to one health there. Uh, taking a little bit of spam. <laughs> that, is, that is. We're about to have it scary. here on the side of Yakamon, and I don't think they're going to wait very long as they maybe are afraid of a spy, but here they come. And are they going to send everyone in and just kind of sack onto the point, I'm wondering? And it looks like nobody has touched the point yet for Team Yakamon. I, Sorry, I, I can't believe this. Pe people are messaging me. That's totally alright. I mean, right, doesn't it look like Team Yakamon are maybe a little. 
Let me put it this way, does it seem like Team 425 uh, sort of let it all hang out a lot more when they're pushing these last points? Doesn't it look like they're a lot more comfortable pushing last than Team Yeah, come on. It really does, yeah. Um, but there is going to be oh, a backup. Back Herpy cap. just gets stopped at the last wow. second by a nice play by Sean John. I mean, you can't put it all on a back cap. I mean, 425 have been doing it all evening long. They've been sending everyone to last. Doesn't matter if they're sacking themselves, they just get a partial cap and then you just chip it away. We haven't seen that from Yakamon at all, and they seem very hesitant to get in there at all. Yeah, I, th I maybe that's just because uh, of the different roles. I mean, Shifty did play Roma last season, and now he's on pocket. And he's, uh, as we heard from their comms, him and Huey are sharing a lot of the calling, so maybe miscommunications and stuff like that not really helping them their pushes. But here comes a double pick in for... Uh, 25 and they should be able to push off this, especially, I mean, they don't have the uber advantage, the 20% disadvantage, in fact, and Bar does have it, so, but with the way they're holding, I th I think they could they could push off this, but no, they're just going to wait and then and then push, or maybe wait for, yeah, come on, see what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, Rayu, still with reference now to these last points, do you almost put it a little bit on the scouts, Herpy and Arvians? I mean, do they need to maybe play a little more aggressively? They're doing great on points. I mean, they're top of the scoreboard other than their medic, but, you know, the cap points are a little more important when it comes to 5 CP. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, they're getting frags and they seem to be doing really well, and there's some good ubers, actually, this, this round compared to last round, but they just don't seem to be getting the right positioning. There, Bar is going to be the first death wow. as well out of that huge fight. Shifty's going to be going down as well, and Huey might get caught out. He does have a health pack and uh, the ability to run away or s at least jump away and I right. not even sure if they know he's there oh no he's backed out now look Where's at this gone? and we got look at death pushed way up and just picking out scouts now just kind of sitting in his little room <laughs> and he's gonna finally now meet up with his team and the second's gonna look real easy and we're gonna be looking at last now once again for team 425 who's already taken one round on this metalworks map well once they get this uh, point Dicker's gonna have a Zuber and they can just push, like, straight away. They've, they, they, there's nothing up to defend for uh, Blue Team Herpy, may No, there's they, there's not even gonna be any off classes. And uh, just a simple, normal push for Red. Here they come, they're gonna be straight Let's see out how they of come, May. and uh, we're gonna see the same thing, I'm almost sure of it. Let's see if they do this move where they just kind of get on last and chip it away. I... The scouts have made a habit of sacking themselves a little bit, and they still got everyone up for 425. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, there's a scout still trying to save himself, but no, Kensi does, does manage to kill Arvians right at the last second, but... I mean, that was... They, they, their pocket was the only one who died. That was a textbook perfect last push, really. Yeah, I'm watching death right now because I want to see what 425 are doing on these mids to, uh, you know, come out on top. And we see how important these mids are because typically a team that mids. wins the mid... Well, 425 uh, they, has lost both mids. Uh, actually, no, you know what, you're right, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Well, I want to see, certainly they're up two points to nil, and I want to see what they're going to kind of do. Huey's down already on the side of Yakima, which is kind of a surprise. He's been doing well on these mids, as you mentioned. Bob Inno on the Medic, that was on Kaya, and he actually goes down and not getting the pick he wanted on Dicker, who grabs the pack, and that one to 425. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to attribute this to Sean John, but he didn't immediately die on this mid, and they won it. So maybe he's a bit of a good luck charm. That's all I'm saying. That's a good luck saying. charm? Yeah. I think everyone's a good luck charm. Everyone's working together. It's Team Fortress 2, right? Yeah, but I mean, maybe you just have better teamwork when one player's alive, even if he's not saying anything. Yeah, we have Ubers now, actually, here on second point, which we haven't seen a whole lot. Under this open area, and I think Bar are happy to just back out a little bit. They're going to maybe hand this one over. Uh, I think they might be. Shifty's going to be going down underneath to a, the shotgun from Anak, and I mean, <laughs> it's... It, um, I, I'm really uncertain why Yekamon tried to defend that, especially with the Uber. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a slight... I mean, there's basically no advantage right now, and what I'm more curious to see is what off-classes are we going to see on this last point, if any, by Yakamon. Shifty's down now. I don't think he's going to off-class, but... Well, nothing so far. I mean, nothing really, and we haven't seen too much of Sniper yet. I haven't seen a Sniper at all from Yakamon. Yeah, They've had the One occasional spy Heavy. Play. Yep. Um... No, you know, spy play was spy play was, was on the side of 425. Yeah, I just mean in they've, general they've we haven't spy, seen a lot of the sniper. Classes. We've had, I think we had a heavy pushing last on last map, if I remember rightly, but I may be lying. Um, so yeah, 425 more likely to use those off classes, and 
Yeah, come on, just want to stick to the cookie cutter lineup. Yeah, Death sticking up the middle entrance here to the second point a little bit, and it seems like 425 are expecting a push into second as opposed to getting aggressive themselves. They're finally now going to move in a little bit and think about last. Wait, you said off classes, and Kenzie has actually gone sniper, and he does oh, drop. Oh, coming in but... behind! On Kaya did great there to come in and force it, and now there's a lot of ground to cover for Team 425. Uh, not really, because Kenzie got a headshot onto Bar and dropped him at, at the same time as on Kaya coming in from behind, and... It's just going to yeah. be a last point for 425 coming out of that. Unlucky well, certainly they, they didn't for Uber forced. It was a good idea to try to force the Uber, and it was a good job, but they still obviously pulled it out because, as you said, there was too many picks. Yeah, and, and for 425, they're not... I, I, I wouldn't say they're winning this because they're the better team. They're winning this because they're not making as many mistakes. Sorry, I, and I guess mm -hmm. they are the better team, but, I mean, they're not playing particularly well together that we've seen out of Prem teams or even yeah. out of some Div 1 teams. But they're, they're just winning because the other team's making more mistakes. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, we haven't seen perfect play, certainly by either team. Everyone makes mistakes. I mean, nobody's perfect. But um, it has gotten a little scrappy at times. It has broken down a little bit, and uh, the battle has degenerated a little bit here and there. Uh, yeah, maybe and I think not, uh, go ahead. Those, have, those have generally been in 425's favor. As well, and, and, and of course them having some really, really good uh, last defenses with, because, um, well, I mean, they've defended their last twice now, and and heartbreak pushes um, for Yakamon, yeah, or heartbreak rounds for Yakamon. Yeah, so we could be seeing this again, because they lose the middle, and they're defending their last again, and, well, I mean, they're, they're semi-defending second here, but they've lost both scouts now, they're surely going to have to back up. Are we going to see Kenzie Sniper again? Yeah, we Team Yakamon has their Uber right now and a big old advantage, and her P actually just picked out where the sticks are, so uh, make it a little easier as here we come. But yeah, a nice early Uber out of bar, scared of that sniper that he knows is going to be there from Kenzie. And that's the right decision, because that's going to be a lot of players down for 425. Swarming Surely they can in. get this point. Is there going to be anyone to defend? No, that is going to be the first round on the board for Yeah, come on. To make it to 3-1 on this map, could this be a comeback? First one this evening, and that was pretty quick. Actually, that was a very fast round. Um, maybe Ekamon finding their rhythm, but I'm wondering if it's a little too late. I think they really want to pick up as many map points as they can, and sort of, uh, you know, they certainly want to hold at least their second place standing in the tables. We'll see how they play this mid, though. Uh, I'm watching Death, actually, on 425, who's going lower, and I think they've been doing that for most of this round, or for most well, of this map, rather. Well, Huey getting really aggressive onto uh, the enemy sort of uh, bridge, and putting out a lot of damage, but on Kai is going to be the first death. Shifty going down as well, so they're both soldiers down for yeah, come on. And surely they're going to have to retreat out of this, and they are. It's just going to be a, basically a free a free middle for 425. They're lit, but not by that much, and Dicker even has a slight advantage, even if it's only like 2 or 3%. Three, three, two or three percent. Well, we might see a exchange here in second again, which we saw uh, just a few minutes ago. I'm so, so kind of shell-shocked by how quick that round we just saw was, but here we go, we're at second, and... Down goes the scout. We've got a scout down each side. Real aggressive play by Yakamon, trying to just like kind of. They're really trying to bully 425 out of here. And it looks like it might work. Yeah. But Temo's just kind of using his big body presence. Huey's just kind of bolding in. I don't know. Yeah, Huey, Huey did bloody. a real great job there, just kind of bullying the point. And now there's only one player left up, and it's Sid for 425. And he is a spawn, it's so that is, that is a complete wipe. And Kenzie yeah. actually in forward spawn on second point, uh, with a spy from Sid. Uh, no, sorry, no. What's he Sid doing? Sid can't make he... up his mind. I think, I, 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 I think he back spawned, that's what it is. So they've left Kenzie... Maybe not. They've left Kenzie in forward spawn with a scout, and they're just going to be watching to try and get that headshot out. I want to see what he does. He's going to miss the scout, that's what's going to happen, and now there's going to be a soldier to meet him. He's just going to back spawn, surely. That's a rough break. I mean, you know, it makes sense. you got to take a chance, but stuck now, nowhere to go. He's going to come back to scout, and they're going to take a heavy out, and that's going to be Sid, heavy on last, and we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, there is a slight advantage for Yakamon, but very small. But, I mean, I don't think that they're afraid at this point to push without Uber. I think they are going to wait, though, but... I think they realize now that it's, you know, it's go time. They really need to put it all out there. Well, I mean, Dick is building his pretty fast. He's only 10% off, so if he can stay alive for another two seconds, he's going to have his Uber to defend. And here it is. It's going to be on the pyro. There it is. Wow. To throw the blue Uber away, and just it's just going to back out. That was really great timing there, and it was great work, actually, by Sean John on pyro. And so, you know, we see there that pyro... Uh, 
works out pretty well on a wide open area like this. They even get a man advantage by picking up uh, Herpy and on Kaya. And now with that, they are actually going to be coming out onto the second point. But some oh, good sticks by Huey have. do actually kill Kenzie and Anax. So with that down, oh, they're going to pick up Sid as well. This is not looking good for 425. This is going to be 3 2 push. It should be because it's 3v6. 3v5 now, I've called that. So, oh dear. Sean John's yeah, going to be going down there. This is going to be surely the point. And that is going to be our second round. Second for in a row. On. Maybe picking up a little bit of momentum here. A little All bit right. of morale back. Should we listen to them for this next middle? Let's see what they're going to do. Yeah, let's link it up. Boy, right. It's not really valid. So let, yeah. let's have a bit more standard lineup on the mid. I'm slower, but this time. Where are you going? Do a high right. jump. Kaya, do a high jump from okay. balcony. And then you will back. Uh, they're, the they're doing the same, they're doing the same. Uh, okay. The demo's lower, he's on me. Okay, I'm doing hard jump now. I'm down. Uh, we got fucked. They're all tagged left. I'm down, right? That was really weird. Come in, come in, come in. I'm gonna jump in, I'm jumping. The med is tagged. Big bounce. Die as soon as you can. Just survive, survive here if you can. Are you behind them? Yeah, he's yep. behind me. What played you? Do it! Oh, oh. Okay. We don't. Okay, so... <laughs> so what do you take from that? I... That we are definitely a curse for Yeah Come On. We listened in, they had the momentum, and they lost. But you know what, it, I'll, it, I'll it's tell our you, fault. I'll tell you what I take from that though, they... As they were rolling out, they sound a little more calmed down and, uh, you know, seems like they've collected themselves and they've taken a second to breathe a little bit, doesn't it? They've maybe calmed down a lot more than they were near the start of this. Well, a winning nerd is a happy nerd, so... <laughs> I think that's I, way to I think it. that's pretty much pretty pretty much it. You know, they've got a couple of rounds there. A lot more confident now. A lot feel, feel a lot better. They'll probably have a better defense on this second point. Um, but yeah, I think it's good by them. They did get destroyed though, and Huey going down so late as well. He 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 almost got out, but then Sid I think shot him just as he was about to uh, jump, and just unlucky by him. Yeah, the call that was made for Ankaya, of course, to do the uh, the high jump, and he. Went for it. He ended up cratering. Uh, didn't get the pick that he wanted, they but did. it was worth a try. They did. They did though, because they did get Dicker. They did and get Dicker. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. They did. Uh, they got Dicker and Death. So with that down, it was very hard for 425 to push immediately. And yeah, but Bar goes down there. He had advantage, and I think he popped it as well. But he goes down, and now a lot of players down. go down. But Dicker as well. So Onkaya coming in from behind, getting a double kill. And working with his scouts as well to pick up well a few more players. Now Death's oh. gonna be the only one left alive. Are Where is he? Picking out Sid there, nice job. And yeah, we're gonna call it a full wipe for 425. And actually, now Death wants to come out and maybe uh, end his own life as well. Well, he's only got 50 health. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 pretty ballsy play going in there with. I I I think he jumped from um, the uh, second forward spawn. So not really position he really wants to be in. We've had a switch to Crits Creek by Yakimon. Really? In the blue, yep, they're at about fifty percent now on Crits Krieg, and so it'll be interesting to see are they gonna get this? They are kinda conservative right now, just building. Um, and once they go in, are they gonna hit that first stick that they need? No, I think I think they can get the advantage here. So they're gonna have to act on it right away and I think they know that. They're coming out choked though and it's well, we got a soldier waiting, look at Sean John. Sean John trying to Oh it backs him into the Oh, nice wow. job there, actually, by Sean John. Maybe kind of nullifying it a little bit, and they didn't really get much a, on that a crit. Bit. He completely destroyed that crit. So they did nothing with that crit. So now they've got yeah. an eight percent disadvantage and an Uber versus crits fight. I mean, who, Uber's going to win every time here. A lot of it was Dicker sitting way back, though. The 425 team was holding far back enough that you know it was really easy to just back in through. Oh, but down goes big pick oh. here with Anak and Death wow. going down, and 425 just lost everyone again. I, and now it's that was my fault. percent on the crits. Look at Yakamon, they're gonna just come right on in here. That must have been my fault. I said it was it, it was you all in the back to 425, and you made that happen right. Why oh did you my do god, that? I'm a terrible person. My goodness, I'm making just teams kidding. lose lose pushes. <laughs> We're gonna mute Ryu for the rest of this. Probably would be a good idea. That we might just <laughs> see a bit of a closer game. <laughs> We've got the second cap has gone down and sitting on full crits and probably feeling real good is Team Yakamon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Kenzie oh, does pick up her P on, on entrance, yeah. but the crits is coming out right side now. He's going to be looking to find anyone it can, but no one at the moment. And in fact, Shifty and Bart, the Huey are wow. all going to be going down. So 425 picking up a wow. triple kill, even when the enemy's crits. Death is going to trade his life for it, but th th there's 
like Arvians and Onkaya are still oh, about. Arvians is gonna Herpes know. just spawned, so wow, yeah. That <laughs> really, field, really good Chris, hold. I'm very surprised as 425 going massive. And I thought Arvians was maybe thinking about a back cap and maybe on Kaya now looking for a little pick behind. No, I like to tease Huey because he is from Lithuania and, I, and I, I like to take the mick out of him and say he's Russian. But well, Russians can handle crits. Huey just can't seem to do it. That's, that, that, that's twice he's got a crits where he hasn't got any picks with it. You know, I mean, it, even though it, the first one didn't work, the Akamon kept advantage and they were able to build and keep that huge advantage, but um, I don't know, they switched back now to regular Uber and that's probably the best decision they uh, could have made. Yeah, I, I I think it is, but here comes the Uber out of uh, 425. They're going to lose Anak, but Bar and Shifty are going to be going down as well, so that's no combo left for uh, Yeah, come on, and I mean, they're going to have to give up this point, surely. They have no medic, they, they can't get heals, but they're going to be jumping in and her P and Onkaya working together to take down Dicker. They're going to trade everyone else though. Was that worth it? I don't know, I mean, you're looking now at... I mean, let's see how they're going to follow up on no, this. No, that's, that's definitely not worth it now, they've, they've lost Huey as well, they're going to lose yeah. second point. And, I mean, Dicker's going to have, what, 15% disadvantage? I mean, he could go crits yeah. here. It's gonna be this, this will be 15, a legitimate time to go crits. More. Yeah, I mean, it certainly Benigan. would. Um, you know, crits is probably your best saving grace at this point, but even still, I don't think... I don't know. They're sticking with Medigun, Ryu. Yeah, they're actually... Oh, 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 they've, they've... They were staying in forward spawn, trying to wait for Kenzie to come back so he could switch on to Sniper. Now, he has had a lot of success with Sniper that we've seen on both maps, and I'm excited to see what he can do, whether he's going to be able to get a pick nice and early, or maybe get that Medic drop. I mean, he's done it a couple of times before, and with only a 15% disadvantage, as I called it, this, this this could be the perfect opportunity for 425. It could. I mean, we're looking at 95 percent though now as uh, <laughs> Sid gets picked out there by Huey's trap, and that's bad news for 425 as they lose Kenzie as well. Both scouts down. That's yeah. I it, it's going to be tough to push the last point with both scouts down, but with both soldiers down for uh, yeah. Yeah, come on. It's going to be hard to defend as well because on Kaya was on spy. He was going for that Yolo pick, but didn't quite manage to make it. Yolo Swaggins. It'd be interesting to see now. Uh, he'll probably go back soldier, certainly. But, uh, you know, just kind of uh, sitting on Ubers now are both teams and they're just sort of reorganizing, getting ready. We have a, a heavy on offense. That's Sid for 425. Yeah, and, and, and with the sniper as well. They're, they're, they're going for this without the scouts. And here he is. It's just going to deny that. They, they, they knew Yakamon were going to be coming out. And with this Uber heavy, there's wow. not going to be a lot they can do. But wow. Death yeah, is death down. Anna, wow. Unbelievable there. I'm really surprised that Sid went heavy. They were maybe expecting Yakamon to come into second point, and they did, but they still pull it out. It's just yeah. Dicker now who's about to go down. He's going and, down. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they, they, they got a couple of forward spawns onto mid, but is it going to be enough? Especially as Anax on 26 HP running away. Um, he's out of the fight completely, and it, it should just be a free midpoint for yeah, come on. And this is this is this is not good. You know, 425. I'm very surprised. They wanted to turtle because there is only one minute and 50 seconds left on this match. Yeah. If 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 yeah, come on, get around now. This is going to be a golden cap. Yeah, map time is about a minute 40, and I'm just very convinced by this Yakamon team, the way they just pushed that. Coming in, just taking down a heavy real easy at second, coming through mid, and we'll see now what happens at this uh, red second point. I mean, they've got a bit of time. They can, you know, take a deep breath and concentrate and really focus hard, and they can definitely push this. I mean, they've, they've, they've pulled it back a lot from, well, coming out at the end of Badlands. A minute and 20 seconds, though, it's not impossible for them to come in and take this last, certainly. No, 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 that, 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 that's what I'm saying. They've got they've got plenty of time that, to, to actually do that. And there is going to be a blue Uber onto last before they've even capped. It's going to come up against the sentry of the... the well, who set that up? Anak set that up. So some great off-classing by Anak here. Um, Huey's going to be going down, and without that demo, it's going to be tough for them to push. They've still got a minute, though, but they're going to be suiciding, and Onkaya going to try and find Dicker. But it's not going to be enough, and I did hear a headshot out of Kenzie. I don't know who he headshot, but I assume it was on Kaya. Uh, Shifty, who's now down to a low, low health. And now they're just, like, soloing players in one by one. What's going on? Yeah, come on. You know, you've got time. They can probably still get one more, like, team push out of this. With on Kaya on Spy, they can get a med pick. And, you know, really focus that sentry down as early as possible. Oh, no, it's it's not. there's no sentry left. Anak switched back onto yeah, they swapped. Yeah, they swapped it out now for a heavy. Sid has gone heavy, and they have a sniper as well. Here comes the Uber as a headshot actually early on uh, Arvians. And I, Ankaya creeping uh, around still as Spy. He's spotted out, though, looks like. Yeah, he's going down there. 
this is not looking good for them now. With 10 seconds left, Huey and Herpy, they're just going to be suiciding for the point, but that is not going to be enough. And that is GG, guys. Yeah, GG's call. This is, we're going to take down the time. 2 1. Yeah. So 425, pulling it out as GG's are called. Well, Give me your thoughts on that one, Ryu. Uh, some, a lot of mistakes made by both teams, but just a lot more seem to be made by yeah, come on. Um, you know, if, if, if they stay together at the end of the season, I think they'll have really ironed them out, really ironed out any communication problems there. So, they, I mean, they've got the potential to be a really, really good team. So, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen with them. But 425 deserved that. victors, I think.